Hi guys, welcome to this week's Urban Uncut, and it's the week before Goodwood, and we are up sh Creek without a paddle. So apparently, Goodwood isn't a show without everything being last minute. I'm told that you have to be last minute when you're preparing for a it's show. not true, Simon. It's just how we do it. It's like every year, every year. Yeah, I know, but we've signed up for a show. We've given the details to Tom, and I'm quite glad that I've actually handed over all of the stand stuff because it looks like an absolute, <laughs> absolute nightmare, and he's Tom, literally Tom like looks that. tired of stress. I know, he's like, <laughs> <laughs> he wants to blow his own brains out already because basically we're teaming up with Miltech. We've got a 25 meter by 10 stand, half Miltech, half us, combination of cars between the two. And we still really don't know what we're taking. We've got an idea. It's not looking good, bruv. It's not looking good. One is guaranteed and we've got a flick to black and white because we can't show you the color now. This way. So on this one, we have asked a favor. It's one of your customers, isn't it? Yeah. And it is the biggest commercial build we've done. This has got everything. It's, it's got such a special, special car. It's painted in a special color, which you can't see at the moment because it's black and white. We will give you some clues throughout the spec as to what that is. First of all, the interior, it is having ebony cirrus interior. So from the ebony cirrus interior, you should be able to work I, out. I, I think the urban fans and the fans of the brand will be able to get from ebony cirrus what color this is. So it's having buckets, it's, it's a commercial. So this is a cool commercial truck. It's yeah? a one of one XRS style, but not an XRS, XRS signature style, series. signature series. Hard van. It's a van. It's it is a van. A van. Yeah. It's and he's staying most... as a van as well. He's not having back no. seats. It's going to be a dog truck, super cool truck. Yeah. Inspired by something we've done previously. Fantastic colour. We put some extras on for him as well. He's having some great carbon seat backs with the logo in on the bucket seats. Um, it's going to have a stripe through the middle with Ebony Cirrus. Outside, it's getting forge wheels as well. So full wide track, these customers go into town and they were happy enough to let us borrow the car for Goodwood because it's such a cool build. But it's it's the the most expensive and the most awesome dog truck. It's a dog truck. It he's is, bought it, yeah. you know, he's got, this is probably car number late 30s for this particular cu yeah, customer, yeah, isn't it? Is, it? Yeah, yeah. Um, and he's just going to town. He's just going to town. So yeah, very, very cool. This one's going to be super cool. This is probably the only one that's guaranteed to be ready for Goodwood, I think. Although the interior is not back and the back's not decked out yet. So that should that could be going wrong as well. Cullinan. Right, this, well this looks, I mean, this looks like we're nearly, nearly there. Yeah, so arches have just been bonded. This is a special one-on-one. One of one. Oh, I didn't see. I didn't know you yeah, we were doing that. Yeah, no. It, we've had we've done some extra fine lining on this, a little bit like Scott Disick's car in the US. That's very cool. Oh, that's a nice little surprise for me. I didn't even see that before. That's yeah. Well so cool. this has been done with four by four carbon twill. So it's a little bit more chunky than the normal two by two that you normally see. Special build, and we've got a new set of wheels which have just landed in the UK. So these UV5s will be on one side of the car, but on the other side, we'll, we will have our new flat face dish, super cool, American style, really trendy wheel. That's not the name of it, by the way. So that begs the question, should we take something like this? Guys, get in the comments and tell us, are we taking the, we're taking a Defender, obviously, that's our, that's our bread and butter to show off. We're taking a Cullinan, nice and opulent. We're taking a Bentley GTC, which we'll show you shortly. But should we take something performance related, performance Audi to show the different things that we do. We haven't taken something like this to Goodwood before, have we? It's we always been SUV no. stuff. It's we always taken been a, SUV stuff. A so hot hatch. I mean, we could take an RSQ8. That that kit is super popular at the minute. We've yeah. got some nice colours in. We've got blue, Nardo, grey. That would be something that we didn't have to build for stock from stock as well, <laughs> which is cool. 
What do you guys reckon? RS3, RSQA, are we taking the right four cars, which is Defender, Cullinan, and GTC, and one more? Okay, welcome to Road again. Um, this is the first phase of our expansion plans, which we spoke about previously. Um, this is the day where autoclave number two is coming into the building. Um, from memory, it's just over two meters in diameter, four and a half meters long. Desperately needed so we can keep up with the bottleneck where we can't get enough parts cured throughout the day at the moment. So, um, what they're gonna do today as you can see behind me, I think uh, there's a big crane there. We've got a lorry out on the road with a clave on. It just come from where we purchased it up north. They're going to move it into position. This is a big ordeal. I've done this four or five times before. Scares the life out of me. Um, but seeing what these guys do and putting something so large and heavy into situ, this thing weighs, I think, like 10, 12 tonnes. Um, you'll see a bit more up close and personal when we get inside. Um, but look forward to seeing it in situ come the end of the day. It's a tight fit getting in the yard. Another one for the collection. Okay, so the stress is over. She's nearly in position. Uh, this Friday, uh, we'll set it down in her final resting place, so to speak. Um, then towards the end of this month in June, we'll be up and running, hopefully making our first component. Um, that component being, if all goes to plan, our new Eurus bonnet, which this was purposely actually purchased for um, because of the diameter, so it will fit in it because the Eurus is quite a large panel. Um, so it's going to help us with our ongoing productivity and capacity problems. Um, also, if we look at this, there was a day many, many moons ago when I thought this was a monster. And now by comparison, when we've got the next size up, it just goes to show how things progress and the scale and how we just move in the right direction. Bigger is definitely better. Um, so look forward to some more updates. Um, this is phase one. Uh, look forward to phase two, which is gonna be up and running at the end of the month. And after that, we're gonna need some more shop floor space so we can fill the thing with more components coming out of the clean room. Thanks, guys. Hi, guys. I'm here with the guys from Beatrim today in collaboration with Acaro. Here for a bit of a meeting to talk about things, projects that you've got coming up. And we've got a nice little surprise for Simon. Go and check it out. This is your life. <laughs> Don't kill me. <laughs> What's this? Oh, I thought it was a chair. <laughs> well, I sort of wanted to see you, but at the same time, bring an excuse to give you that. Go on, go and have a little look. No prizes for guessing what it is. Though. Is it like R2D2? <laughs> Scale model. That's exactly what I thought it was Yeah. What is it? <laughs> nice one! That's the f That is so f cool. Yeah. <laughs> does it does it work? Yeah. Does it eat and cook? Well there's a button on this that don't do nothing, does it come with beef food? I reckon that's selling. Is that the plan? Oh, no. <laughs> no, it's yours. Ricaro have finally done that one. Oh, have they? Oh, that's very nice. 
Oh, well, we have spent a bit. Between us, we've spent a bit, yeah. Say thank you. And you've donated the bag. And we've donated the bag. That's the Thank you very much. I appreciate that. It's a fully operational car. There you go. Well, there you go, go for it. Go for it, man. I was getting on his seat, go for it. Pirouette for you. You'll slow mo that down and make it like put some nice music over it or something like that. <laughs> no, it's just gone like that. Yeah. I've pressed the button and he's gone. Bzz, 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 bzz. <laughs> the electrics don't work. They do it in the cars, honestly. Yeah. Like, it's yeah. just staring at me in the face. Look how yeah. sad it looks. This is how, beep, how much it's done. Like, like, all joking aside, we're up against it. Yeah, we are, yeah. Yeah, so these bumpers have just come through manufacturing, not even painted yet. And normally the process takes two weeks. I got a hunch that we will be putting the last parts on the car as the transporter is waiting outside. Oh, oh. This one again is getting our full kit. We'll probably drop this with a Voss and HF2s or HF5s, probably HF5s that are on the um, RS3. They look super aggressive on the GTC. Don't you love this floating roof line? I love it. You've got that one picture on your Instagram yeah. up there. Is that right? Did I do yeah. it right? Yeah, top left. Top left. <laughs> that looks super cool. If you're driving along, aerial photograph. This car on yeah. a cross country trip to Europe, Yanomite Grand Tour. That's it. If you ping up here, you can get a video to that. This is the one. This is the one. This is what we'll take. This is the only car that I could do it without having to get a flight home because of my back. Massaging seats, like big V8. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Right. Exclusive, but not exclusive because it's not confirmed. But the ultimate tour, the ultimate Grand Tour car is the Bentley GTC. Put a tow bar on the back for all our suitcases and that. Yeah. Oh, you'd get something in there, wouldn't you? Oh, it's just for the, it's just for the parts at the <laughs> yeah. moment. Don't look. Don't look. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. So that's it, guys. That's our Goodwood prep, which um, isn't going according to plan at the moment. It isn't always rosy in the urban workshop. And on that note... Oh, it's the, your, your, the Urus. <gasps> Where is it? What? No, it, that's the other car. That's the launch car. <laughs> we literally, are you still recording? Yeah. <laughs> We've just recorded all of that video and forgot about the main car. The Urus, the launch car. The, yeah. The, the exclusive, the main yeah. exclusive. Yeah. Right, okay. Uh, so where yeah. is that then? So don't, that? Bother get, don't bother getting in the comments. Where is we that? Know what cars we're taking. Where even is that? It was on the ramp, but we had the rear bumper fitted up and basically it's gone to Miltech to have its exhaust fitted. That's how it's going. We forgot the car. We forgot the main car. That's how, that's how it's that's going. That's how much moment. pressure is on us at the moment. We forgot that we had a 300,000 pound euros to take to Goodwood. <laughs> so, right, Lenny's disappeared for the day and these trainers that I got earlier, they're actually for Lenny's birthday. No, they're not. <laughs> That's it, I would buy them for his birthday. Right, it's Lenny's birthday tomorrow. We are going to dress his desk shortly. But what we're going to do now is we're going to give you a nice montage of some old Lenny videos just for you. Wish him a happy birthday. Get in the comments. This is it, see, that, that is it. That's it done. First take, sorted. <laughs> Everything else done. Maxwell Steel is a superhero, and his superpowers are really stupid looking boots. Fresh. <laughs> Fresh. M-U-G. Well, Yanni will be wearing these in like a couple of weeks. But modifying Range Rovers, we also modify footwear. I'm so happy. Do you want to move your biscuits? Is it my wife? She's a pure soggy. This is better be an outro. Are you recording? <laughs> what the f was that? Rich. <laughs> One take. Oh. He's just phoned me saying that he's, um, he's just having a workout and he wanted to measure his arms and check to see if one was bigger than the other. 16 inches. Dan has got the tape measure. Hold on. 
I did want to do a couple of press ups first, but it's not happening, right? No. Yeah, I make that 17. 17! Whack! Yeah! <laughs> That's all good. <laughs> oh. Franco, can't you reel, Dad? Franco. Come on then. Franco. Franco. High five. <laughs> Oh, oh. Well, that's a mess, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> that one is probably going to mess my hair up with less. Hey, young Charlie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he knew straight away he was going to be I was like, hey, you're going to make his head fall off. And the first one you did was <laughs> you pull your head fell off. <laughs> So now we, so now we've established that we forgot about the Eurus, and we're definitely taking the Eurus. Mm -hmm. How many cars do you think will fit on this stand? I know, it, I know, well, we, it, I know it's four, but like, we I had the know. we had the chat, and I want to be greedy and see if we can get five on there, but I'm not sure it's gonna, not sure it's gonna fit. So the only, the only way is to do what we used to do, and basically clear all the cars out of the showroom, and, and basically put all of the cars map that we out, want to take out. in that area. All right. And then ring Stephen Miltek to ask if we can have a little That's really bit nice. more space. <laughs> really, really Maybe nice if he sees it on the video, nice. there'll be an element of peer pressure. It's like, ah, Steve's a real bad guy. He's got to give us a bit of extra space. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, so it's definitely Eurus, definitely Defender, the cool Defender. It's definitely Cullen, and they're, they're without mm. a doubt the three that we're taking. Yep. Ideally, we want to take an RSQ8 and a Bentley GTC. Mm -hmm. But it's whether we can fit both on. The Bentley GTC, we've had that out for what, two years now? Two yeah. and a half years? So yeah. people have seen that. Yeah. As much as I love it, I think they look fantastic. It's not really an exclusive, it's not really a new car, so it's maybe relevant. that can be. Yeah. It's a Goodwood car though, isn't it? You know? It is very Goodwood yeah. though, and they do look cool with the roof down. Yeah, I know. But would you want, without any disrespect, loads of people's grubby mitts? <laughs> <laughs> on the inside the dirty of that public, The dirty public! <laughs> no, but it, like, Three o'clock comes, and everyone's on the floor. Yeah, yeah, they're yeah, like yeah. pouring their beer yeah. inside cars. How much is it? Yeah. Says. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so maybe maybe we'll go to the drawing board on that one. So, but yeah, Steve, if you're watching, maybe maybe one and a half, two meters more, be fantastic. We can talk. Man. Exhaust don't take up much room, do they? No, <laughs> I mean, if you're just displaying exhaust, we've to got cars fair, to put on there, bro. He has got some cool cars on going on his stand as well. So, and we are sharing it, so sharing's caring, so share more. <laughs> on that note, guys, we will see you next week and give you an update on the shower of... <laughs> <laughs>